Hi, this is Janice. I'm going to demonstrate today on how you can create a rolling track mat that has the background showing through the letters on the title. And there's an example right there. So that's what we're going to be doing. Okay, so uh, let's get started. First we need to import our background and I have a background, this is just, it's actually too small but uh, it'll work for this purpose. The size is only 256 by 192, it's, it's more for uh, like a thumbnail representation but it'll work okay uh, for this um, demonstration. There's a couple things we can do. Uh, I'm going to put put it in the background. As you can see, it's way too small. It's also not long enough. I'd like to have this uh, about last twice as long. So there's a couple things we can do. One is we can just go in and change the duration. Go down 50%. And now we're at 12 seconds. That probably would be good enough. But what if you want the background not to be any slower? You want it to be at the same speed. You just want it to loop and at the same uh, continuous uh, loop at the same speed. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to create a new sequence. I'm just going to call this one background. And again, I'm going to go ahead and add the graphic. Then I'm going to go resize it up here in the uh, effects control panel under motion, scale. And this is going to be enlarged to about 340. And then I'm going to go down here, and if you hit the down key, it'll take you to the end of that clip. I'm going to do a control C and a control V, and that pastes another one in there. So that's the size I want. Now I again have a looping 12 second background, and then if you wanted it longer, you would just continue to uh, cut and paste, copy and paste until you got the length that you wanted. Now I have this all in one sequence and I can go back to my original sequence and go up to my background sequence and drag that in. And uh, there, I have a continuous loop now. Okay, now we got the background, so now we need to put in the uh, rolling title. That's easy enough. We're just going to go up here to Title, New Title, Default Roll, and I'll call this one Rolling uh, Track Map. It's within the title safe and I'll just duplicate that. So I'm going to do control copy, control C, return, control V, return, control V until I have a bunch here. Alright. See how 
try another one. That should be enough. So we're done here. We've got all our rolling tiles. We'll go up here to the title and I'm going to put that over the background in video track 2 and stretch it out. So if we go through here we can look and see, oh there we go, our rolling title is coming up. Okay. But that's not really what the effect we wanted. We want to have the background coming through the letters. So that's easy enough. We're going to go over here to select the track mat key. And track. There you go. Drag that over to video one, your background. And we're going to be using the rolling title as the track mat. So we go up here and select video two. Ah, there we go. Easy peasy. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, of course, you can have different variations on here. You can actually take the track mat and let's say we scale it up. We'll scale the whole thing up. So this would be just another little... Let's get it here. Okay, we're going to scroll it up. Okay, that, that should be alright. Maybe a little bit more. Let's go 200. That's kind of cool. Alright. So, we're going to change this though. Instead of a scroll, we're going to do a... Or instead of rolling, we're going to have it... Crawl. So, let's have it go from crawl left. See what that looks like. Okay, close this out and let's start again. This might be kind of cool looking. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Well, there you have it. Hope that was helpful. Take care.